Good morning or good afternoon, dependent on when you will be watching this. Um, my name is Thomas Robers. I work for uh, Next to Company, a uh, consultancy firm in the Netherlands. We help uh, organizations uh, in, in logistics with the development of new strategies and the development of new concepts. And together with our program partners uh, in The Hague, uh, we are responsible for Living Lab 2 within the LEAD program. So The Hague. Um, the Hague is the capital of the Netherlands. Uh, it is not Amsterdam as you, uh, as you might suspect. Um, and it's a beautiful city located uh, near the uh, seaside in the Netherlands. Um, but it's also a really crowded city, a really dense city. And it's increasingly dense. So there's more people moving to The Hague to work there. There's homes being built, offices being built. And to be fair, uh, the inner city logistics is already quite jammed. So there's a really big challenge uh, to solve that in the future in a uh, increasingly dense city center. And to tackle these challenges uh, in The Hague, we have formed a nice consortium of partners. Uh, so on the left, we have the municipality of The Hague, who, uh, that is the pilot city and has a facilitating role. The TU Delft, who is responsible for building the digital twin and doing the analysis. And next to company, I just introduced, uh, that is my company, and we are the connector of the different stakeholders and also the platforms that come with those stakeholders. And on the right side, we have the different logistic service providers that are going to work together to tackle these challenges. So on the top left, we have uh, MyPub and uh, MyPub is consolidating parcels and delivering them to parcel lockers in office or apartment buildings. On the top right, we have uh, Cyclone uh, and Cyclone is also the owner of FietsCouriers.nl Biking Couriers and they are the largest biking courier in the Netherlands. Uh, then we have uh, bottom left uh, Hub Club. Hub Club is uh, consolidating fresh deliveries from bakeries and butchers, etc., and delivering them uh, through an electrical van to bars and restaurants uh, in one time instead of multiple times. And then we have Nimber. Nimber is not active yet in the Netherlands, but they are running a crowd shipping platform uh, in Scandinavia. And together with uh, these program partners, we are trying to tackle the following problem statement, uh, which is as follows. How can we mix the logistics services across platforms to create a more efficient and sustainable urban freight system uh, by sharing the resources of different uh, carriers of different partners and improve the offerings for customers. And to solve this uh, problem, we use the theory of the hyper-connected city. And, and the hyper-connected city is a theory in which the multiple logistic actors, or maybe more actors even, um, are being uh, connected on multiple levels. So it's both on a physical level through hubs, for example, but also on a digital level through the connection of different platforms. And it's uh, important that the or different organizations not only are trying to achieve their own goals, but also act in a common interest. So that is best for the system, that is best for the inner city uh, logistics. And to achieve this, we need uh, many partners, but also many partners that are willing to cooperate uh, and that trust each other to do this. And to come to some sort of hyper-connected city, we have created a development path. And the different pilots that we have created are, are fitting in this path. And to start at the end, so we are working towards some sort of city logistics platform, an open platform on which the different logistic service providers are efficiently uh, working together. Uh, but to get there, we need first need some pilots in which the, some first partners are working together. So in the blue line, we are uh, doing a crowd shipping pilot. Uh, first, we are trying to, uh, to engage a bringer's pool, which I will explain in more detail later, uh, and then see if we can uh, use this bringer pool to, to send some parcels through the Hague. And the red line is a different uh, development path. And there we are starting with some smart logistic connections. So just connecting um, to uh, logistic service providers uh, to increase efficiency in their logistics, but also using the pickup and parcel lockers uh, to do this. 
So for these uh, different uh, pilots, the different uh, colors of lines, we have uh, defined the MVPs and I will be going to more detail in the next presentation about the physical implementation, but for the first ID, so I already explained for MVP one, the crowd shipping. First, we focus on the bringers and later on seeing uh, how we can match those bringers to a certain supply or certain parcel deliveries. For the MVP2, we first are going to see if we can uh, uh, connect different logistic partners uh, uh, through hubs or through parcel uh, lockers, but later also if we can start some first sort of a city parcel network, and that should in the future, in the further future, I should say, result in MVP3, uh, some sort of city logistic platform connectivity. So all of this has the goal uh, of increasing the efficiency of inner city logistics in The Hague, but also the sustainability of the logistics. So uh, within the LEAD program, we have a, a certain amount of KPIs, which you see on the right, and it has to do with less kilometers and all positive results that you get from uh, driving less kilometers, but also uh, uh, the jobs that are involved in logistics, uh, the delivery costs, uh, the congestion, which is a really large problem in The Hague, but if we do this the right way, it's also beneficial for retail and also for the, for the end consumer as uh, maybe we can decrease delivery times. Um, therefore, we built some scenarios to test these KPIs and if we were doing uh, and developing uh, the solutions the right way. So we have the assist situation and the impact of logistics in the, uh, the current situation. Then we're going to do pilots and we can test the, the results in the pilot situation and the digital twin that uh, TU Delft is building uh, can calculate the differences that we make in the pilot. But the uh, digital twin is also able to expand those results. So what if we expand the pilot to the whole city? What would be the effect of the different KPIs uh, then? So then we can measure if what we are doing uh, is meaningful. Uh, but more details on that uh, will be in the digital twin uh, presentation of the TU Delft. So that was it for the introduction. Thank you. If there are any questions uh, arising, maybe after the next presentations even, uh, don't hesitate to contact, uh, contact us. Thank you.